Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm standing in front of the tree of the week. This is the Eastern Redbud. Um, it's native to Eastern North America. It is a small one we consider a small or a sized tree, it grows 15 to 30 feet tall. It is deciduous, so it loses its leaves in the winter, to grow them back in the spring. But the great thing about this is it's already flowering, so you're gonna really be able to see these flowers before those leaves come out in the next couple of weeks. It has these really beautiful rosy pink pea-like flowers. The redbud is in the pea family or the Fabaceae leguminosae family. Um, the flowers are pollinated by bees and they are also edible. You can make a jelly out of the flowers and if you go on the internet you can find lots of recipes um, to make a red bud jelly. Now the leaves which we're going to merge in the next couple of weeks are also a good characteristic to help you identify this tree. They have heart-shaped leaves, very distinctive heart-shaped, broad heart-shaped leaves. The seed pods are also a good characteristic. Remember we said it's in the leguminose or Fabaceae family. It has a flat pea-like seed pod, I'm kind of papery. A lot of times that will persist throughout the winter. Those seeds are gonna be dispersed by birds or by wind. Um, and overall, it's a great tree. It's, it's a tolerant of a variety of soils. Um, it does well in partial sun to full, sh partial shade to full sun. And um, it's just overall a, a real beauty. And I'll leave you with one fun fact. In George Washington's diary, he recorded he spent many hours transplanting seedlings from the woods around his Mount Vernon home so that he could plant this tree in his garden. So if you get a chance, check out in your backyard, see if you've got any redbud, walk around your neighborhood and see these spring beauties out right now. Enjoy.